What's up guys, Pot Belly Pigs for life here, and today we are back with another episode of The Future of Hammond's Dream, Season 1, in Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, um, yeah, right off the bat, kicking things off, as you can see, we are planning the next section of our park, so, um, that's gonna be themed around the late Jurassic period, which will be the Morrison Formation in modern day Colorado, as well as the Tendaguru Formation in Tanzania. Um, so we're not gonna add any dinosaurs from those particular dig sites in this episode, but if you guys recall from the last episode, I went into the last section completely blind. Like I did not have a plan whatsoever and because of that, I honestly didn't know if I was able to pull it off. Which, thankfully, I did. I was able to pull off a pretty decent area last time. But this time, I want to make sure that I'm going into the next video with a plan in mind. So, speaking of the last section, um, so another thing that we're going to do in this episode is we're going to finish the middle jurassic section so if you recall from last episode um we did mostly jurassic asia with the mementisaurus monolophosaurus chunkingosaurus gigant spinosaurus and huayangosaurus and we also did one of our lagoon species the ichthyosaurus and we did the dimorphodon which will be our only pterosaur in the playthrough um and so this episode we're going to finish that section by including some more european dinosaurs and non-dinosaurs too so we're gonna add in our last two lagoon species those being the lyopleurodon and the plesiosaurus and we're also going to add in the proceratosaurus the compsognathus we're going to add in the Sarcolestes, which is going to be a replacement for Notosaurus, as well as the Loricatosaurus, which will be the base game Kentrosaurus. Um, so, yeah, you can also see later in the video that I end up adding a lot of amenities. So, like, I try and cram them in as best I can, both the amenities and the hotels, as well as, you know, like, shelters and whatnot. Um, and, um, so, yeah. Um, so, one thing you see me do later is, like, I end up putting a hotel um, into the Chunkingosaurus and Mementisaurus enclosure. Um, another, like, trick in the book that I got from Evolution Square. Um, so yeah, so it's been a while since I've uploaded, and you guys might have been wondering, what's taken him so long? And, well, first of all, school and work. Um, but also, I've been working on something. Um, I've been working on something special. How special? Very special. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on something pretty special off camera. Um, it's a surprise, so I can't tell you. But, if you want to see what this surprise is, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and stay tuned for any upcoming video. Um, but, yeah. Um, and then, really quickly, I do want to talk to you guys about like something that I plan on doing. So, of course, as we all know, last week there was... A DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Late Cretaceous Pack. And one of the dinosaurs that I've really been wanting is the Australovenator. Um, but previously, I was using Herrerasaurus as Australovenator. Um, but instead, we are going to use um, Herrerasaurus as Eotyrannus. Um, so it will go with Cretaceous Europe along with Baryonyx, Iguanodon. Polacanthus, um, and then so for Alamosaurus, so, um, Alamosaurus lived in New Mexico, and so I decided 
to think of some other dinosaurs that lived in New Mexico. So obviously Quetzalcoatl is not a dinosaur, um, but they lived in New Mexico and Texas. Um, but um, also we have a new subspecies of Parasaurolophus, Parasaurolophus cirrocrustatus, which we will use all three Dominion skins for. Um, and of course, like all the other skins, like the Lux skins, 1997 skin, and just the regular customizable skins. Um, those will be Parasaurolophus Walkeri, which was from Alberta, Canada. Um, and so some other dinosaurs um, include the Ohoceratops, which looked a lot like Triceratops, so we will be using Taurosaurus instead as Ohoceratops, um, which I know, yes, I could use like Pentaceratops, but hey, Pentaceratops can now coexist with Styracosaurus um, with the new cohabitation updates. Um, but Triceratops and Taurosaurus still cannot coexist, which stinks. Um, but yeah, um, so we'll instead use Taurosaurus as Ohoceratops, um, and we'll also use um, the regular Troodon um, as Dino Bellator, which previously we were using it as Talos Sampsoni, but yeah, we're gonna change it to Dino Bellator. Um, so yeah, um, also, I just want to say I'm a bit disappointed that Australovenator cannot pack hunt. Um, so like it can it can't like kill anything larger than an Indoraptor, which kind of stinks. But hey, you know what? At least it got added into the game. Um, but yeah, so um, another thing that I haven't done yet, but I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to add in some of the new. Lagoon decorations into the um, lagoons that we have, um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse, and I will see you at the end of the video.
Alrighty, guys. So this is what we got done today. So um, as you can see, if we go around, I like revamped this whole area, added loads of amenities. Up, oh, the game is lagging a lot. Loads of amenities, moved some stuff around. Um, even more over here. I did trim a little bit of space right here for both the Glacialosaurus enclosure as well as the Skeletosaurus and Cayenta Venator enclosure. Even more lag. Um, so then right over here we got the Pro Ceratosaurus enclosure. If I can find the Pro Ceratosauruses. This one? Yep, that is one. Ooh, that's a nice skin. I like that skin. Um, and then right over here, we've got the Loricatosaurus enclosure. Yeah, so I compared the different models. Um, and the plates, as you can see, they're like differently shaped. And there's a different amount of them. Um, and no, they did not shed their back plates. So, can't Cretaceous lie to you. They did not shed their uh, back plates. Something must have happened to that Stegosaurus where it, like, probably died and it lost a back plate when Darius found that back plate in Season 2. Um, if we go into the lagoons, I added in the decorations. It's literally all just coral. It just, I decided that, you know what, it doesn't need to be too intricate. Um, it just needs to not look plain. And, hey, it doesn't look plain. If there's one thing I would have done differently with the lagoon decorations, is that instead of, I would have also, so, you know what, the individual placeable decorations are fine. But I would have also added in a paintbrush. Like, it's like here, I would have added in like um, aquatic foliage. I would have added in some coral, even though it's technically not a plant, it's technically an animal. Um, well, it's technically a bunch of animals. Um, and I also would have added some kelp, um, like kelp forests. And so. As you can see, we've also added in Plesiosauruses. Right over here. If the game will lag. And we've also got some Lyoplorodons. Like, if I do say so. Alright, so then, um, another dinosaur we added in here was the Compsignathus. It's very small. Um, and we also have the Sarcolestes. So I moved the, um, um, I moved the viewing platform is originally over here but I instead moved it over here um again loads upon loads upon loads of lag and amenities and this is the hotel that I was telling you about um um but yeah loads and loads of amenities shelters at 100% restrooms at 100% and amenity coverage. Honestly, at this point, I give up trying to make it at 100%. Um, and right here is the new section. So, um, okay, there we go. So, this, um, so this will be the Ceratosaurus enclosure because Ceratosaurus lived in both the Tendaguru Formation and the Morrison Formation. This will be for Ceratosaurus. Um, this will be for Brachiosaurus and Stegosaurus. This will be for Diplodocus and Dryosaurus. So you know what? Maybe I'll put Brachiosaurus and Dryosaurus and then Diplodocus and Stegosaurus. 
you know, mix it up a little bit. Um, this little area that I have not decided what it will be, I think I'm going to have it be, um, for the Diplodocus and Stegosaurus. Um, and so then this over here will be Kentrosaurus and Dicreosaurus. Hold on. There we go. And then right over here, we'll have an enclosure for Ostafricosaurus. So, that is what we will get done in the next episode. So, hold on. There we go. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this episode. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see some more Minecraft, Planet Zoo, and Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.